Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Tech Zulu Penthouse here at Real Office Centers in Santa Monica. We are in the throes of Silicon Beach Fest. Look how beautiful it is. No wonder people like Silicon Beach, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm sitting here now with Labinat Batucci with Solaborate. So Solaborate is social collaboration. It's, it's a social network, but for technology professionals, yes? That is correct. So um, basically, uh, it stands for social collaboration. Okay. Uh, we combine the word, and what it is, it's a it's a dedicated social networking platform um, uh, designed for technology professional companies mm -hmm. to build an ecosystem around their product and services. And we provide as a platform all the tools and services to do real time collaboration. <laughs> so how is it different than LinkedIn? Is it um, what are you adding to that experience? So um, we believe that LinkedIn, it's a great social networking platform. We use it all the time. I use it personally. But it lacks uh, the ability to, uh, ability to create that ecosystem around your product and services okay. and the whole collaboration piece of it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, can use your, you can kind of post your profile and it really kind of stops there. And then you right. have recruiters and everybody leveraging that information. We take it beyond that and allowing first that being dedicated to technology professionals, it's one key advantage of using Celebrate, but also we provide all the collaboration tools. So one of the things we're doing is uh, leveraging uh, some of the latest technology on the web to mm -hmm. provide real-time communication based on uh, WebRTC. Okay. Now, you and I had a chance to look at the product before we got on camera, and so it looks like you've got, for instance, um, like a Skype, or you've got a chat overlay on top of Celebrate now is that something that is going to just exist on the web-based version or is that going to port over to mobile as well so right now um, we're as uh, as we talk we're in a private beta okay and uh, the technology we're leveraging to, to build that, that uh, you know uh, next WebEx if you want to call it then Skype mm -hmm. that we let um, technology and the ecosystem around uh, technology collaborate in real time is we also allow them to, um, to use, uh, to do web conferencing, uh, file sharing, desktop okay. sharing, or screen sharing, mm -hmm. and the, the WebRTC enables us to. Now, right now, we're focused primarily on the web, right. but the new version of mobile that is gonna come out, it's gonna have that c those capabilities as well. Okay, so it, it almost reminds me of a mix of things, like a piece of it sounds like LinkedIn, a piece of it seems like what Quora was when it first came out, when it was really good and a lot of business professionals, technology professionals were collaborating with each other, answering, que answering questions and whatnot. But then there's also this mix of white papers and this great content. You're bringing all of that together in one place. Is that about right? That is correct. I think um, one of the challenges, and I was in a corporate world for mm -hmm. seven years working for SAP. Ah, you so, know the enterprise world very well then. Yes, uh, I would say so. <laughs> um, and so one of the challenges I had personally is, you know, uh, you know and, and, and the bad mouth that social networking is like, hey, waste of time. What mm -hmm. we're trying to use, leverage the social networking capabilities and the momentum it has there. But our goal is really making technology professional more uh, productive and okay. by combining all these tools giving them a common user interface and collaboration on top of it we believe that it's gonna make them very productive yeah yeah so it really sounds like you're integrating a number of different things like a Yammer um, like a Quora like a LinkedIn all of these things and, and, and creating this nice cohesive user experience um, how are you gonna make money off of this so um, uh, our monet monetization strategy is it's a pretty simple. Uh, we will let everybody use our platform at no cost. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's free to use and we're gonna monetize in content. Okay. And so ad marketing and ads is gonna be the primary goal. But we're also, uh, I'm a big believer in not just advertising and putting people some bunch of banners and ads there. Right. We're building our um, target marketing uh, engine uh, from scratch and it's gonna be very content driven. Okay, so we're talking about, it sounds like native advertising then, sort of like what Yahoo is going to be doing with Tumblr and what Facebook has done with sponsored posts, but I hope better than the sponsored posts because people really didn't like those. <laughs> uh, that's our goal, actually. We want to leverage the content that people do yeah. and uh, based on what you like and your, uh, your network, we want to make sure mm -hmm. that content is relevant to you, even though okay. it's advertising. 
Wonderful. So how, how far into this are you? I know that you're in private beta. When did you first found the company? So the company was founded in uh, 2011. Okay. Um, and uh, we just released our uh, private beta in April 30th. Great. And Great. Um, our goal is to release it to uh, public as uh, soon as possible. Wow. So if someone still wants to be a beta tester, though, for the private beta, is there a way they can get involved? Yes, they can uh, mm -hmm. by going to celebrate.com. Mm -hmm. There's a, a request beta key uh, okay. uh, button there and just request one and we'll process and we'd love to, to have people give us some feedback. Excellent. Well, I love the fact that we have more enterprise startups in Los Angeles. So here's another great example of that. So thank you so much, Labina. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Wonderful. Celebrate. Make sure you check them out. Social collaboration, but for business technology professionals. And I'm Amanda Kulong here at the TechZulu Penthouse. Silicon Beach Fest will be right back.